Hello and welcome to this very special conversation. We are going to talk about digital India. We are going to talk about India going cashless. If you recall, it's been almost two years since the government declared its so-called war on cash when demonetization happened. Simultaneously, the Digital India Initiative was launched. Aadhaar on the meantime, in the meantime, which is our biometric database here in India, has been growing and growing very fast. So what does this all mean for people who use a credit or a debit card? Is plastic going out? Is digital coming in? Is it secure? What is the new technological changes that are happening the world over? Joining me, two very special guests, Bob Rini, who's the Executive Vice President at MasterCard. Thank you, Bob. You do a lot of work in this area and we'd love to hear what you're doing. And Shudipto Roy of ICICI Bank, he's the general manager in charge of the cards business. Thank you very much, uh, Shudipto, for joining me as well. Shudipto, from a cost point of view, uh, you know, we read recently even MasterCard, for example, brought down some of the costs that it charges. Uh, do you think, uh, again, within the ecosystem, look at it from the merchant's point, look at it from a consumer's point, uh, do, do you see that as a trajectory which is only going to keep going down? See, I think uh, understand that, you know, the entire cards uh, and basically the payment system, which it, it operates on the four party model where it, you have the customer, you have the issuing bank, the acquiring bank and then the merchant. So obviously we want to make uh, things affordable uh, because obviously some of the global economics that play in, in advanced markets, developed markets might not be suitable to India. But however, there are real costs of running systems, right? Especially, you know, people look, do not, people only probably look at the top, which is visible. They do not look at the iceberg of, uh, of the payment system, which is below. And, you know, you have your terminals, you have your terminal consumables, you have uh, systems which run 24-7, you have huge data centers which back that up, you have disaster recovery centers, you have the real-time fraud controlling systems that you have. You have a large army of people actually who is employed in running this system. That cost is not visible. What is visible is that, yeah, I charge, I have to charge a sort of a merchant service fee to the customer for enabling, for to the merchant for enabling the transaction. The customer pays nothing. Hmm. Now, uh, the government in consultation with the RBI and with the banks, we have uh, progressively brought down the debit card uh, merchant discount rates. And I do believe that at this particular level, uh, the way they are tiered and and the government is uh, reimbursing a large cost of the transactions up to 2000 rupees, mm -hmm. uh, which is a step, I think, in the right direction and which should lead to wider adoption of uh, electronic payment means by merchants. Mm -hmm. uh, I do believe on credit cards, uh, there is a real cost of running the system in terms of your cost of credit. Uh, the, Typically, you tend to see a little elevated draft rates on credit cards because of some of the write-offs that happen at times. So. Uh, I think uh, the credit card rates are, I believe, are at the right level right now. And I think debit cards, because of the intervention of the government, RBI and the banks, I think also has reached its right level, right? So I think uh, we are at that position where, you know, the industry can sustain its, itself at these rates. And I probably would not re recommend any downward revision of uh, uh, the rates uh, because Beyond a point, you know, the industry will not be able to sustain itself. You're uh, saying they're fairly rock bottom? They're fairly rock bottom. Uh, this is the bare minimum. In fact, in the developed markets, the rates are far, far higher, right? So I do believe, and, and, and I think because of the government reimbursing uh, the transactions fee for the merchants up to 2,000 rupees, I know, I think it's actually uh, much economical for the merchants to... How dramatically did things change post-demonetization? Have you been able to penetrate far more deeply, are you yes. seeing the person, not just in the metros or urban centers, but even in rural India, actually adopting, going cashless as a ethos? Has that change happened? I think it still remains a work in progress. I think if you look at de demonetization was, uh, I think, uh, in November uh, 2016. And, uh, you know, we saw our volumes double in exactly, because there was cash scarcity in the system, uh, in exactly four months our debit cards volume doubled. Credit cards moved, but debit cards moved really faster. Uh, and uh, I do believe that there were a lot of first time users who actually started using their debit cards for purchase transactions. Some of them went dormant after the cash came back into the system. but. Uh, you know, the, it, it settled at a much higher level, at least a 8% or 10% higher level within a period of four months in terms of transaction volumes. And we, we have been seeing it steadily go up after that. Uh, so, and also what happened was that, 
you know, before demonetization, there was 1.2 million terminals deployed in the country. In as of October 2016, we had 1.2 million terminals. As of April 2017, we had exactly doubled that. So in a four month period time, you know, the industry put together 1.1, close to a million terminals, which I do not think in the normal course of time would have happened. And that actually pushed uh, a lot of uh, electronic acceptance into the market. The market continues to grow at healthy rates. Uh, but to be specific to your question, we see larger amount of activity and acceptance for cards in the smaller towns and cities, maybe not in the villages still yet. But at least, you know, tier, we see robust transaction volume from tier B and tier C towns coming in. Right. It's been a pleasure talking to both of you. Thank you very much for joining me here on this very interesting conversation. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.